it's a beautiful day today and what I am about to be doing is a little interesting test. I have to drive up to Leicestershire for a foraging course and um, well I have to drive up there to check out a place for a foraging course at the weekend and so I thought with the AC as it holds speeds quite well and I should have the range to make it I'm going to have a little go at testing uh, motorway driving so this will be a rather interesting experience, I think. No one's ever dared to take their dew whiz on the motorway, and I think mostly it's possibly because of the range. Um, with a DC, you wouldn't want to do it, because the DC can only do up to 40 miles an hour if you're lucky. The AC will hold 40 miles an hour, no problem, on the main roads, and it will, it will do 45 up to 50, and you are, and according to the UK laws, as long as you, as long as you can go over 30 miles an hour and you have a full UK license, you are permitted to go on the motorway with a G Wiz. Now, because I've driven motorbikes in the past and things like that. I feel relatively comfortable doing this in a G-Wiz. If you're used to the comfort of a, and safety of a normal car, I wouldn't recommend it because it will probably terrify you. However, I'm used to driving on main roads. Um, I mean, when I when I built the solar power tricycle last year, some roads I had to tackle were quite busy. I met these cars rushing past while I was towing 200 kilos on um, on this long, possibly 12 foot length, 12 foot. cars rushing past you. So with the G-Wiz, it's probably not going to be much different when it comes to the motorway. So we've just entered the motorway. It's not actually that bad an experience, especially with the four lanes. And I am able to hold, I'm able to hold 45 miles an hour going up a slight gradient. I mean I could push it, I could push it up to 50 miles an hour if I really wanted to. So I arrived here at Hanwell Wine Estate over an hour ago. Um, I've done. I've had a little walk, and I'm ready to do the journey to the charge points. So the motorway driving was actually was act wasn't actually as bad experience. I got beeped by a couple of times by lorries. However, other than that, it was a pretty easy journey. And uh, the car actually maintained 45 to 50, which wasn't a bad speed for staying on the inside lane. And unless I was going up a hill, I was maintaining 50 miles an hour, so I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. So now I'm on my way to charge up. I'm parked up outside a uh, outside a row of pod points here. There's no time limit on here, which is quite a good um, car park to use. So this is at the south of Nottingham. I haven't put the hole in the side of the car yet, so I've got the lead coming straight into the straight into there. Now, I've done some calculations based on my journey up here from Northampton. So this is so this is motorway driving. So 58 58 miles were covered at about 45 to 50 average speed um, 4.3 volts were used and I averaged out at 
13.48 miles. Now if I take that as 13.5, so 13.5, I mean it's going to be a little bit more than this because I hadn't gone down below um, that, that down below 48 volts. Once I go below 48 there's a little, the, the charge curve prolongs itself a little bit so it kind of straightens a little bit and I get quite a lot of I get maybe around thir double the amount of miles for a, maybe one volt so this is likely to be around 14 14.5 volts and uh, 14.5 sorry miles per volt if uh, if I'd have discharged it completely but but what we have at the moment is so say 13.5 times by 9 one. So assuming that this is going to be the average mileage, that's still 122, so still 123 miles. And I'm only running 17 packs at the moment, not my full bank of 18, which means that I should be able to do 130 foot to the floor on the mi 130 miles range, foot to the floor motorway driving. And that's quite remarkable. Um, the reason why the uh, the reason why I haven't got one pack at the moment is a is a bit of a mystery. I sent the pack back to Billy to have it looked at, and uh, there was a snapped wire to the BMS, but for some strange reason, one bank of cells was completely dead. The others were okay, but one bank of cells were dead. So we have a feeling the BMS might have drained them. Uh, or something along those lines. Now I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on. He's going to he's going to have a look at the dead bank of cells and see if he can work out what exactly is going on with the pack. But, uh, but no, that should be back with me by the end of next week, and I'll have my full range back. And as I say, hundred I reckon I reckon 130 miles foot to the floor, kind of driving. That will that is what I that, that is what I expect out of this car. So that would mean that driving carefully and driving below 40, I would assume I can reach 150 miles. So it's uh, the ranges are about the same as what we're on the DC, except I'm getting a higher average speed, um, a higher average speed, so better efficiency. Um, that the AC motor provides, including your regen, which I hardly used on the motorway. So if I'm driving down country roads and using the regen more, I should be likely to achieve 150 to 160 miles on the packs, I reckon. So I'm almost finished charging. I'm at 51, 53.2 volts. I've been charging for a couple of hours, so I'm pretty much back to where I was when I when I set off. Uh, this morning so I'm ready for the trip back down the motorway
off the motorway. 120 miles. Thank you. 